What if I told you that reality only exists when you look at it? That the universe isn't something fixed, but rather renders in real time like in a video game, depending on whether or not there's an observer? This isn't science fiction. This is what quantum experiments tell us, in which the role of the observer doesn't seem to be limited to measuring, but also determines the result. Today we're going to delve into the double slit experiment with two variations of it with surprising results, the Mach Zender interferometer and Wheeler's delayed choice experiment. Two experiments that suggest that reality responds to observation and that it can even rewrite the past. If you're intrigued by the idea that the universe is a simulation, subscribe right now to Reality Shift, click the bell for notifications, and give this video a like, because what you're about to see will make you question everything. It all starts with a classic experiment, the double slit experiment, key in determining the wave particle duality of light. If we shine a beam of light towards a barrier with two openings and don't observe it, an interference pattern appears as corresponds to the behavior of a wave. But when we place a detector to see where it goes, the pattern disappears, and instead the photon behaves like a particle. Does reality decide what it is based on whether someone is observing it? But what comes next is even more disturbing. The Mach Zender interferometer takes this paradox to the next level. A beam splitter is placed that separates the light into two different paths. If we let both paths run their course, the photons interfere with themselves, creating a predictable pattern. When trying to observe where each photon passes, the interference disappears. The mere intention to observe changes the result. It's as if the universe waits to see what we do before deciding what to show. And this leads us to the most intriguing experiment of all. What would happen if we didn't decide to measure until after the particle has passed through the slits? That is, can our observation in the present change the past? This is how John Wheeler designed his experiment to find out, and the results were surprising. If we decide to measure after the particle has already traveled, the result still changes depending on whether or not there is an observer. It's as if the universe waits for our decision before writing what happened in the past. Are we seeing a time paradox? Or the ultimate proof that the universe is a system that responds to observation, like in a graphics engine? If reality only materializes when we observe it, this is too similar to how video games work. Virtual worlds are not fully generated at all times. Only what the player needs to see is rendered. There are other physical phenomena that also suggest that our reality could be subject to computational limits. According to Jacob Bekenstein's theory, the amount of information that can be stored in a region of space has a limit. Seth Lloyd went even further and proposed that the universe could be a quantum computer with a finite processing capacity. If the universe were a simulation, this would make sense given that a computer system cannot process infinite information. Perhaps what we perceive as reality is only the portion of data that we can access at any given time. Let's add one more consideration. Why can't anything travel faster than 186,000 miles per second, the speed of light? If we think about it, this limit seems like a convenient restriction as if there were a barrier that prevents information from traveling too fast. In video games, graphics are rendered only in the part of the world that the player can see. What if the speed of light is the cosmic equivalent to that mechanic, preventing the universe from having to calculate information in real time for distant regions? It is true that these limits do not prove that we live in a simulation, but they are exactly what we would expect to find in a well-designed simulation. In short, quantum physics experiments show us something disturbing. We don't fully understand how the reality that is shown before us works. If the past can be rewritten, if the universe waits before deciding on a version of the facts, then maybe there never was an objective world out there, just data waiting to be observed. And when we add to this the limit of bits of the universe or the speed of light as a possible computational restriction, the clues seem to line up. What do you think? 
Are these signs that we live in a simulation? Or are they simply pieces waiting to fit when new advances in theoretical physics arrive? Leave us your opinion in the comments. And if you want to continue exploring interesting topics like this with us, subscribe now to Reality Shift and don't forget to like this video.